In this video, we use hands-on code demos to demonstrate reduction, a common tensor operation. Calculating the sum across all of the elements of a tensor is a common operation. For example, for a vector x with a particular length n, to calculate the reduced sum across that entire vector, we simply sum up all of the elements in that vector. For a matrix with m by n dimensions, it's the same thing. We just calculate the sum across all of the elements. Let's have a look at a hands-on code example to make this concept crystal clear. Here's our matrix X, which we've already been working with uh, in a number of examples in this notebook. We simply, in NumPy, use the dot sum method. Append that to the end of the tensor, and boom, it adds up all these values. You can confirm for yourself that 68 is the sum of these six elements. In PyTorch, we use the torch.sum method and then put the tensor in there as the argument. Boom, we get the same result. And then TensorFlow, similarly, there's a reduce sum method there that allows us to again calculate that 68 for our matrix tensor X. In addition, it is reasonably common with matrices or higher dimensional tensors to calculate a reduction across only one of the dimensions in the tensor. So for example, we can apply this sum method in NumPy along the rows only using this axis equals zero argument. So that will then tell us the sum of this column is 33, the sum of the second column is 35. We can do the same thing along all the columns by setting axis equal to one, and then we get 27, 31, 10 as the sum across um, all those columns. And in uh, PyTorch and TensorFlow, it is a similar idea. So here we're doing it along the zero axis, the rows in PyTorch, and here by using a one, we're doing it along the columns in TensorFlow. And of course, we get the same results as we did in NumPy for those respective axes. Cool, so that shows you it for summing, but you can also reduce across many other kinds of operations. For example, you can apply reduction along all of the axes or a selection of axes. Uh, for example, the maximum, the minimum, the mean, the product. All of these operations are fairly straightforward and uh, they are used less often than summation, which is definitely the most common type of reduction that we see in machine learning. So if you're interested in these other uh, types of operations and, and using reductions with them, you're welcome to look them up in the library docs for NumPy, PyTorch, or TensorFlow, or whatever library you're using. Up next, we're calculating the dot product of two vectors.